What's up guys, it's Donovan, it's Sunday. Hope you're all having a great day today. Um, I'm basically making this video just to, uh, to point out a couple things about Alex Jones, you know. Um, I know whenever I make these videos pertaining to Alex Jones, um, that put a different slant on him than most people feel. People get really offended and they tend to attack me and stuff like that. But um, I think people get so passionate about it just because of the fact that in the back of their mind they know that there are questions that need to be asked about Alex Jones, his behavior, his track record, his modus operandi as far as trying to inspire people, and um, so many other questions in regards to that. I was a big fan of Alex Jones for years. I have been a caller on his radio show, well, in such and such a way. I've um, watched almost all of um, Alex Jones' movies. Um, when I first got into the truth movement, he was one of the main voices I paid attention to. Um, I used to be a paid subscriber to his channel, and I used to listen to his radio show every single day. So I don't want people to think that I was, you know, I just started off as, you know, disliking Alex Jones. Um, it was quite the opposite. Um, I really liked his quirkiness. Um, I liked his energy level. I liked um, a lot of the information that he was exposing, um, in large part because I wasn't exposed to any of it before. And so um, I really appreciated Alex Jones for that. Over the course of time of listening to Alex Jones, though, certain things, um, certain red flags started to raise up in regards to um, things he things he would talk about um, and comments he would make and um, that is what this video is about is kind of to expose the hypocrisy that is Alex Jones particularly in relation to Bill Cooper um, I make a lot of videos about Bill Cooper because um, in my mind he is the quintessential he is the when I imagine in my mind what the ideal patriot is, you know, an ideal leader for a movement that would actually create some form of change and educate the people, no one pops in my mind as strongly as um, William Cooper. William Cooper covered off numerous topics over the years um, on all sorts of different fronts. Um, he was very open-minded about them. Alex Jones, since his death, has not only taken credit for a large number of William Cooper's predictions, but he has also done everything he can to bastardize his name, to spread false information about Bill Cooper, to try to minimize him, and try to paint him out to be a bad person and a bad individual. In this video, I hope to show you, um, at least in small part, a part of his hypocrisy. If you haven't come in contact with Bill Cooper, um, I'll tell you now that um, if you like explosions and high-def video and stuff like that, you're going to find little interest in this. However, if you're a studier of secret societies, of the mystery religion, of the New World Order, um, of, I mean, everything in between, and it's a message that you care about, um, I don't think there's any way you could possibly listen to Bill Cooper and not get 100% behind him and feel at a total loss at the fact that he lost his life. Um, but here we go. I want to show you um, a little bit of a snippet from this. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. I'm going to play it nonetheless. I was pretty close to a mainline Republican, kind of like Republicans today that are starting to get into Ron Paul. That was about the level I was at. I mean, I knew about the Federal Reserve. I knew about global banks. I knew about monopoly capitalism. I knew socialism and fascism were controlled by the banks. I'd read uh, Gary Allen's. You know who woke me up? It's Gary Allen. Uh, it's Bob Chapman. Bob Chapman, you know, published that book. He, he paid for it. That's who woke me up. And so I wasn't into UFOs. I've never covered UFOs. That's not me. He was a UFOologist. That's what he did. And he okay. So right there, in that, in that statement, he's saying that Bill Cooper is nothing but a UFOologist. Now, um... I hate to cut the interview off right there, but I just want to state that if you read a Behold a Pale Horse, William Cooper was not only a member of the Demolay Club, which he then later said he was a Freemason, but um, he was at that point, when he joined the Navy, he was actually um, had top secret, top secret clearance with naval intelligence. He, um, he was a part of naval intelligence. He was privy to documentation and information 
um, of the top secret nature, which he tried to expose in his book, Behold a Pale Horse. Um, he said on numerous occasions that this isn't what I believe, this is what I have read. I don't know what I've read, if it's true or not, but he's going to expose it nonetheless. Now, I also want to point out that he, um, along with um, other military people um, that he was serving with, actually had an amazing UFO encounter, um, and he speaks about that in his book. So it's not if he's making um, these claims just willy-nilly, just based on no research at all. He not only is more qualified than Alex Jones because he's been exposed to these intelligence documents, the actual ones, but he's also had, um, he's also um, been a part of a sighting. And if you read about the sighting, this isn't just like seeing the silver bugs way up in the atmosphere. He saw one up close come out of the ocean. There was multiple witnesses to this. Um, and that's what he's talking about. But let me keep going. He was on WBCQ that no one can hear in Texas. And by the time after I'd interviewed him, trying to help him out, I heard the IRS was after him, the age of the Internet had begun. People said, hey, you better know who this guy is. Here are audio recordings of him attacking you. So I was sent cassette tapes that were recorded off shortwave that I could barely understand. So I didn't I didn't really listen to much of it. I now you're seeing an example of Alex Jones trying to minimize Bill Cooper by making him sound like a hack, making him sound like his message isn't as valid as Alex Jones because Alex Jones has the support of the New World Order <laughs> and uh, <laughs> is no doubt um, a member of, um, you know, certain, certain orders that um, he certainly doesn't want to divulge there on the air. But you'll, you'll find cons consistently that um, he tries to belittle his character. It's the same kind of tactic used by the government when someone says something that's true and um, they can't out and out kill him, so they're going to go ahead and kill their character. In the case of Alex Jones, he has to do this because no one can kill Bill Cooper because they already did. Popped one in and he said that I'm a transvestite that wears uh, uh, ruby nipple rings, and I thought it was a joke. And then I finally read the, the Behold a Pale Horse. I've been mailed. I've been mailed a lot of them. And it was uh, it, it said that J Jesus was sacrificed by aliens, and there were holograms and flying saucer submarines. And I okay, Jesus never said, or <laughs> Bill Cooper never said that Jesus was sacrificed by aliens. What he said is he had read government documents. Um, speaking about our contact with extraterrestrial beings, stating that they had holographic images of the day that Jesus was crucified. That is what Bill Cooper said. He did not say he saw it. Um, he said that the government said that extraterrestrials have this. Okay. He also never said flying saucer submarines. He said he saw a flying saucer come out of the ocean by their naval boat and watched it fly off. And then I think he said he saw it fly back into the water as well at close range. And um, there are other witnesses who've seen this and many other things, okay? But um, just wanted to clarify that. I mean, I couldn't get through it. And so... I'm forced to just explain to people that William Cooper could attack me all he wanted to. And that's fine. It was all just because Genesis put my show on at night and he flipped out. And now since then I've heard a lot of it and thought I was going up against him. I had never heard him. Bill Cooper never, ever expressed any anger towards Alex Jones' popularity at any point ever. What Bill Cooper had issue with was Alex Jones's tactics of causing fear in his listeners and possibly causing situations that would cause panic to such a level that martial law would be instituted and raised concerns about that. He also exposed Alex Jones's lies, which in an attempt I'm trying to kind of do right now, um, and Alex Jones, um, instead of acknowledging him and um, speaking of them logically and truthfully, he just goes into attack mode. I don't have time to listen to cassette tapes people send me. One time driving up to Waco to build the Memorial Church for those that died, I popped it in the cassette in my Tahoe and was just like, you know, I mean, those recordings are out there, you know. He said I was at a public event, being given an award, dressed as a transvestite, and 
Jesus is an alien. I mean, this was just, and Jesus was being filmed with aliens, holograms. I mean, just lunatic crazy. I mean, just lunatic nuts. I had no idea. And I was talking to Jason Burmis about this the other night. He goes, yeah, he went and printed it up, actually. In fact, get Jason's here, and I cleaned off the desk. Well, shit, I'm running out of time on this video, so I'm going to segue into why I'm showing you this video in the first place. It's actually not to um, debunk every little thing he says. It's because I want to show you now this video he came out with about two, three days ago. What's this? Now, if you keep doing research on this, he's going to say, I don't follow flying saucers. You've come to the wrong show. He says he's taking credit for predicting 9-11, even though everyone knows that Bill Cooper took, is the one who actually exposed it. Once he died, Alex Jones was able to swoop right in and say he did it. Um, also, um, you know, he's quoted, you know, he's always quoted as saying, you know, making fun of people into um, UFOs and extraterrestrials. And uh, it's funny that now, after making fun of um, David Icke, he has David Icke on the show, who um, talks about the most controversial of all, which is the reptilian agenda. Um, but check this out. This is him from three days ago. On the food in your intestines, the reason we're taking time out to examine Prometheus is because its storyline, its plot, mirrors that of many ancient we're societies. two days ago. And the ideas presented in Prometheus are at the core of Western secret societies. These are ancient civilizations that were separated by centuries, and yet this same pictogram was discovered in every one of them. Please tell me you can read that. I think they want us to come and find them. Across the world, we see evidence of early civilizations' obsession with what they believed were off-world influences. From the Nazca lines in South America to the pyramids of Egypt, we see artifacts, testament to early man's obsession with off-world manipulators. Every ancient culture believed they were communicating with men from the sky. Ezekiel with spinning wheels of fire land digging, creatures with blue space helmets approaching Ezekiel and giving him a drug to take and then he has wild hallucinations. One could say that Prometheus is simply art imitating life and putting a 21st century spin on the beliefs of the Dogon tribe in Africa and the Aztecs of Mesoamerica. Eric Von Donegan, more than any other living person, has popularized the idea of chariots of the gods and that our planet has been visited and manipulated by off-world creatures for thousands of years. But the systems that he popularized were regurgitated whole cloth from ideas developed by the ruling class of this planet. And I want to be clear, every major globalist we look at, going back more than 160 years, is completely and totally obsessed with the idea that off-world aliens are controlling this planet and giving them hidden knowledge. By the 1870s, T.H. Huxley Group and their X-Club was dominating the Royal Society in England. The dominant theory within the X-Club was that humans had been seated here, along with most other life forms, by advanced beings from space. From the inception of Darwin's theory on the origin of species, evolutionary science... And I'm running out of time on the video, and so um, I'm going to stop it there. You can check this out. It's um, if you go to the Alex Jones channel. It's his featured video right now on there. Um, but, I mean, can you guys see the hypocrisy in that? I wish I could display it better to where it was more damning of Alex Jones because if you do your research, he's talked so much shit about extraterrestrials, about the agenda, and about the belief system and how it correlates to um, the mystery religions and secret societies in the United States. And then he turns around and instead of giving Bill Cooper credit again, even though this is all content that he would have spoken about, he his Mystery Babylon um, series was the number one series that exposed the agenda of the New World Order and the Freemasons and everything else. It is by and far the most informative and best and most well-researched information out there. And he's out there giving credit to someone else. He's reporting on it after making fun of Bill Cooper, bastardizing his name, lying about him, stealing his information. I am warning all of you right now that unless you people start waking up to this shit with Alex Jones, you know, chances are you're just ending up on a database. Love you guys.